Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Deleters deck profile. So this deck is pretty budget. It's pretty budget because I don't have the other Grade 3 Deleter, the really hard to find expensive card. So this is basically the trial deck with a couple of changes. Uh, namely the trigger lineup is different. Um, but it is very easy to build this deck actually. You only really need like a couple of Grade 2s and Grade 1s to change out from the trial deck. but Honestly speaking, I feel like the trial deck itself is probably the best trial deck uh, overall. Like, I playtested the trial deck, like, out of the box against so many different decks, and the win record of that, of this specific trial deck, is so surprisingly consistent compared to a lot of others. It's mainly because of Force 2. Force 2, Force 1 works, yes. Force 2 can just. If you know the opponent opened up with a lot of uh, high grade units, because either you saw them G assist, especially if they G assist, if they G assist, you go force two and you're gonna they're gonna lose. Uh, it's just that simple with the leaders. But anyway, let's get right into it. Um, so for docking to leader, Grayon. Grayon is the main. You you want to ride this guy basically. If you don't have this guy, the, your deck won't really function that well. That's the only bad thing about this budget build. That's the only Achilles heel of the trial deck really, is just not having. If you don't open up with Gray on, um, but eventually you'll get him, uh, and then things will start going off from there. Um, I'm still running the trial deck other grade three because I don't really have any other good alternative without turning the deck into a Messiah, Harmonix Messiah deck with Grayon. Um, eventually, I probably will do that, though. I'll probably put Grayon in my Messiah deck and just retire this this deck completely. Um, but for now, I want to showcase Deleters. I want to prove to you guys, you can build a really decent Deleter deck for cheap without having the other Grade 3 Deleter. Now, in terms of consistency, it's going to suffer, yes, but that's because it's cheap. So cheap comes at a cost, and the cost is your grade three ride consistency because in some games you'll have to ride this guy and he has no vanguard effect for grade twos we run four swift leader gilly gailey or gilly is really really good he's from the trial deck so you get a play set of him with the, uh, just like these other guys um he's just he's just really good so you gotta run four of him um here's where i start changing it though so we run three elro Elro's nice because when he hits a Vanguard, if you've got Alba, you can counterblast one and you can bind a uh, card phase down. Uh, the cool thing about this guy, though, is he does that without needing another Rearguard to do that. He just has to hit a Vanguard. So that's one, choose opponent's Rearguard and bind it phase down. If you could not bind, you get a draw. So the nice thing is with Gilly is you draw if you can't bind. So he, he has no real drawbacks. That's why we run four copies of him. So three Elro. Next, I'm running two Alba. Uh, you could bump this up to three. Originally, I was running three, but I took one out because I feel like Alba is not as important as uh, Elro because it doesn't have the um, on hit to bind phase down. Um, it, it gains power though, so it can hit better columns. However, when you're up against a deleted Vanguard, eh, you know it doesn't really matter too much because 10k is the right number against a zero. So that's why I'm running two of that, and then I am running two Lie Down Deleter Given um, because uh, I used to only have one, and I was running three Alba, um, but I want to be able to reset my Vanguard. So basically, what Given does is at the end of the battle that it attacked, if your opponent's Vanguard is deleted, you can put six cards from your hand and regards, and it's a total of, so it usually will be like, you know, like three cards from hand, or like four, four cards from hand. Or three cards from hand, or two cards from field, or three cards from field, um, and then into the drop zone, stand your vanguard, and it gets minus one drive. So he can stand up the vanguard against a deleted vanguard that is insanely good unless they checked triggers. And that is the reason why we go force two, people. You go force two when you're going to leaders. Don't go force one. You can go force one. Um, it makes it hard for them to guard, but the thing is with force one, they're more likely to just no guard you, and then they damage check a trigger, and that can like mess up your opportunity with this restand. Whereas if you go force two and they're deleted, they're gonna try to block you. They'll, they may be blocking you with less, but you'll be taking more from their hand 
more consistently when you delete their Vanguard that overall I feel like it's probably more uh, it pays off better to go Force 2 as a deleter. Some people will disagree with me, but I I don't know. I, I encourage you guys, if you have the deck, try it out. Try out this build. Do Force 2, see how it goes, and you, you'll probably thank me. So anyway, uh, now for the Grade 1s. I have changed the generic Sentinel uh, from from the trial deck into the one that actually allows you to draw and discard a card because remember this is a budget deck like I said earlier so it's still very budget uh, so we're not running the expensive Cosmo healer because that thing is probably one of the most expensive uh, Sentinels I don't really know why but it, it just is uh, next we run four from a deleter Gaian another trial deck card that you get four of at the end of the battle that it attacks a vanguard Retire it and discard a card from your hand. Draw a card. Choose one of your opponent's grade one or less, and bind it face down. So it has the ability to bind stuff, most likely in the early parts of the game. Um, but it does work against a deleted Vanguard. If he, but he has to be attacking though. So that's why this could be one of the cards that could be reduced in count if you were trying to make the deck more, uh, more less less than a, just a budget deck. Next, we're running four Ill Fate Deleter Drown. He's your counter charger. Not much to say there. He does get to bind uh, one of the rearguards. If the opponent's vanguard is deleted, this effect can be used. Put him in the soul, uh, bind one of your opponent's rearguards face down, and then you, if you have no face-up damage, you can counter charge one. Very good with Grayon because he has a counter blast too. So we run four of him, and then the last grade one is two sharpened loop of despondency. All nil, all nilam, all nilam. So I like this card in Deleters because at the end of the battle that it boosted a Vanguard, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, and usually it will be when you use it, that's why we're only running 2, uh, and 2 or more Guardians were retired for that battle, retire this unit and draw 2 cards. So why is that good in Deleters? Well, because most of the time, if they don't have a perfect guard, they have to call a lot of cards to guard, at least like 2 cards, usually. Uh, when you're swinging with a big lane or you're swinging with something that you they want to make you two to pass They're gonna put like two cards unless they have like a heal trigger or something and you're not swinging with a big column um, But in those scenarios, this will always be behind the Vanguard. So this will swing the Vanguard at 20 to a zero um, So if they put a heal That's not even enough. That's nothing they have to put more than the heal down. They have to put a like a heal and a 15 crit shield down to block you. And that's already going to trigger this effect. Because it doesn't have to hit at the end of the battle that it boosts it. If they use two or more um, guardians. So you have to draw two cards off of that. That's pretty good. Uh, that, that pretty much helps add survivability to this deck. In the event that they're able to outlast you somehow. Um, despite all the critical pressure. Speaking of critical pressure, what really, really seals the deal for the deleters in the budget lineup is the trigger lineup. You guys know me. I'm probably going to be that one YouTube channel out there that's running, uh, like, showcasing a lot of 12 crit builds. But this is a 12 crit deleter deck. It's a budget build, so we don't need to worry about those expensive draw sentinels. You don't need them. All you need to do is get this guy as fast as you can, get him on the field, delete the opponent's vanguard, do your stuff, unflip, bind, delete again, if they re-ride, just keep deleting, 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 and using force 2, force 2, force 2, force 2, with all the 12 crits in force 2, I don't know what else to say, man, just try it out and just see how it just wrecks so many opponents randomly because they have no idea, they assume that you're running, like, draw sentinels, and Whatever, they're going to try to like guard you early. Guarding earlier early won't really work too much against a 12 crit deck. I um, mean, it will, but it, when you start getting the Force 2s, that's when they'll be like raising eyebrows and wondering what's going on. So, anyway guys, it's a hilarious deck. It's just it's just really good times all, all the time with deleters, playing as deleters. So anyway, hope you enjoy the deck profile. And I, like I said, I encourage you to try it out. Force 2 is the way to go with deleters. And 12 crit just makes it just all the more capable of winning the game hands down. Anyway, hope you enjoy the deck profile and I'll see you guys next one. Thanks.